The new Hayes Lit Theater will soon present a show that's equal parts science, cinema, and theater. Sounds very interesting, right? Well, you have just a few chances to see APIS this week. And joining us now is the show's playwright. We have Lindsay Gordonson, as well as Rory Janney, DT Burns, and Jelena McLaren. Thank you all for coming in. Thanks for Thank having What a having nice us. little crowd we have. <laughs> so tell us first, we really would love to know, Lindsay, what APIS is all about. Uh, Abus is about a female identifying human who works in an underground food market and they're pretty happy with their life but they're visited one day by a blue orchid bee from the future and that bee wants them to help them change their history and so Abus has to decide whether or not they want to leave their very comfortable life and help Bazinga Bob is the blue orchid bee's <laughs> name. Oh my God, what inspired you to make this storyline? How interesting and futuristic it feels. What inspired me? You know, I, um, I used to live in Nashville, Tennessee, and I would go to the grocery store and buy vegetables, and I would frequently have people ask me what they were. And, um, <laughs> and I thought, wow, what if we lived in a world where only the top 1% could access fresh fruit and vegetables? And so that's kind of how the idea started. And then as I figured out how um, that would happen, I got down to bees. Well, you know, bees. It's so it's, there is like this little bit of it that's not so far off, right? When I mean, we talk about food deserts all the time and we know that this exists, so it's not really that far out of the imagination to exist. Absolutely. The futuristic bee, I don't know about, but <laughs> it is all down to the bees, though. Right. I feel like that's one thing that we've all learned. Um, so I, I'd love to hear from each of you about your role. So uh, can you can you tell us about your role in the play? Of course, yeah. I am the only human on stage. Okay. Uh, I'm surrounded by puppets. I have there are there, uh, but I am Apis. I am the character who is waking up and uh, sort of coming to terms with the world that I live in. While it might be comfortable, it might not be kind. Uh, and so yeah, yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah. We live in what is comfortable, don't we? Yes. And so it's kind of hard to get out of that. Mm -hmm. And for the two of you, are, are you behind the puppets? Yes. Yeah. Yes. What a cool so job. I've been the lead puppeteer helping Lindsay to build these uh, over the past six months and bring up to life all the different uh, bees and ants and robots in the world. So I voice Bazinga Bob, who talks a little bit more <laughs> like this, as well as some <laughs> of the robots who communicate in the factory lines. <laughs> I'm Nan, the ants, as well as shadows, other robots. Um, yeah, just bringing the bringing the world to life and all of the ensemble of what is the future. I mean, what's it like being a puppet operator? I imagine that would be so fun and creative, and not a lot of people get to do it. Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah, it's an absolute dream getting to breathe life into inanimate objects. That it's all through the work that you do and finding the the breath and the focus and clarity of moving them along and creating scenes with a, a living person. Absolutely. Well, and you two collaborated so closely on this. I mean, you know, when we watch a film that is futuristic, they can lean on different elements and AI and technology to bring that, but you guys have to have it right there in front of you to really tell the story. Yeah, that is always the challenge with puppetry, but it's also the really exciting thing with puppetry is that magic has to happen in the space, yeah. in the moment. And um, uh, that kind of high risk with these puppets is has been very rewarding. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And what do you think audiences, what do you want them to take away as the person who wrote this play? Because I feel like, already just from hearing the premise, you know that it's important and the story is important. So what would you like that to be? Um, you know, I think the, the world feels really heavy and, and big right now. And so I, I was really thinking about feeling small. Um, and so I'm playing a little bit with the idea of, of that smallness does not mean that something is unimportant. And I also, um, I really just want people to have fun. There's a not a lot of fun <laughs> right no. now, um, especially for adults. I feel like there's a lot out there for kids, but where do the, the adults who want to laugh go? <laughs> and I, hopefully it's Apis. <laughs> well, is, is there, a there is comedy. It's not yes. just a serious production. Jelena, what is it like for you taking on this role and, and trying to spread that message? Yeah, too? oh my gosh, I love it. It's really, you know, I'm at a point with my acting that I take on projects that are exciting to me, sure. yeah. uh, that are like for passion. Uh, and so it's really, really lovely to both, you know, do a show with this environmental message as well as get to play with puppets. Mm -hmm. It's really exciting to be on stage, be the human person in a room when I'm, you know, I'm directing my gaze not at my fellow puppeteers, but at the eyes of the puppet. And that's yeah. who I'm having a conversation right. with. What I a dream. I have <laughs> to ask, have any of you seen the show Silo? 
Oh, or read no, the book. Okay. I haven't. It reminds me very much. It's like this industrialist, and you're working underground, Ooh. and there's a lot of things that you start to question about what it is that you're living in, yeah. and so it's it's so fascinating to hear this coming together as a play too. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. That sounds interesting. And just the theme of you're in a world that is comfortable but not very kind. We can mm -hmm. change that. Yes. And I feel absolutely. like this is a great, great thing to you know see and inspire us to do. So thank you for yeah. writing this very important but fun. <laughs> show because I feel like again the adults yeah. need it we need it we all need it yeah and don't go anywhere because coming up after the break we are going to see uh, a preview of this quirky mind-bending show and you'll know it will include puppets too it's all coming up when we come right back